Now ready to start third period. Shots very lopsided, 26-7 in favor of the Sharks in the first two periods, but the score is only 3-1 thanks to some excellent play by Roderick. Justin has one of those goals, drew the other two, honey the goal on the other side, and that one nearly sneaks in. Trevor able finally to fall on it. That's for the first shot of the third period. It will be Joe and Honey taking the face off. Won easily by the Sharks. But no, lost to Richard. That shot's going to be saved. So first two to the Ducks. Played up. It is Joe clearing it. Renee tries to keep it in. Does not do so. And there you go. That's three in a row now for the Ducks. Been uh, off to a flying start, shall we say? No pun intended. Shot the other way by Joe. Goes into the corner. Nobody there. Cameron tries to play it off. Unable to find a teammate. This is where Justin gets it. The honey stuffs it. Now Joe with a shot. That one is saved for a shot for the Sharks in the period. Plays up. Nothing there. Renee tries to bring it around the other way. Finds Richard. Richard trying to get past Justin. Oh, look for Simon. Simon unable to control it. Uh, Cameron and Honey trying to control it. Cannot do so. Neither one has it. Simon controls it. He'll shoot. That's wide. Now the other way. It is Renee controlling it, waiting for the reset. Gets it to Simon. Simon looking up as Richard. Richard gets around his man, but oh, lo loses his balance a little, and that caused him to lose possession. Around the net we go. And it will be Honey getting there first. Played up to Joe. Joe looking for another shot. Oh, into the middle. Allie's there. Nope, no. Brendan takes it away and is looking to play it forward. Controls it. But not far enough. Now the Sharks have it in the offensive zone. Looking to play it around. Anyone there? No. Into the middle. Nothing happening. Now control. No, they're going to say nothing to do about it. So no penalty. Penalty so far. Ducks are 0 3 on the power play. Sharks 0 1. Shots this period are 3 1 Ducks as well. Shots overall, though, are 27 to 10 in favor of Sharks, but the goals are 3 1 in favor of Sharks. And that just shows you we've had some pretty good goaltending here today. Play to the front. It is Sir able to clear. Looking the other way. In the corner. Plays it around the side. Unable to get there. Mike now. Into the middle. That one tips off of a shark player. Now they control in the corner. Up to the opposite bench. And Dave is there first, but has it stolen away. And Roderick has to fall on it. Both sides setting up here. Mike sends the uh, face off forward off of the collision. Or off the tie up, I should say. Now Mike gonna try a shot. That's saved by Trevor. Oh, he loses sight of it. Sharks are able to recover. No damage done. And now it is along the border. Another pass that's close to no one in particular. Mike recovers it from the bench. Mike in the middle. This one, Trevor does not fall, but it goes off the side of the net, so no harm done. Well, the Sharks are offside here. And we have another penalty coming up. And once again, the Ducks will be on the power play. Mike, Mike, high sticking. Penalty is on Mike for high sticking. Call at 440. So the Ducks now have their fourth power play of the game. Mike will take the face off opposite Justin. Ducks already have four shots in this period. They're looking for another. Tracy up front swings and misses badly. Sheila unable to get it on that either. Or Sarah. Uh, 
There's too many, too many S names in this league. Stick is lost. Just fell out of it, fell out of the hands of Adriana, it looks like. Now kept in by Dave. Looking for Justin. Justin looks for Drew up front, excuse me. Able to get it the other way. This one gets tipped over the head. There'll be a lot of calls against the Sharks, but there aren't. This one is controlled in the middle. Justin shoots, short hit a goal. Unassisted and shorthanded for Justin on their second shot of the period. Shots 4-2 in the period, but the first goal to the Sharks. It is 4-1. Power play continues now. Drew wins it up to Mateo, who uh, we're good to see him back in the game. Now Renee finds Honey. Oh, they're going to rule it. The Ducks broke too soon. This shot's not going to count. And we bring it all the way back. Ducks and Sharks lining it up now. Richard on the wrong side of the line. He's pulled back. Drew now Mateo is shot. That one is blocked in front. Richard tries to get it around. Able to do so. Time almost up in the pier in the uh, power play, actually, not the period. Simon with a shot, that one is tipped away, and the Ducks are gonna be 0 for 4. Ducks 0 for 4 on the power play, including a shorthanded goal conceded. It is 4-1 Sharks. They have played a much better game since the first period began. Now trying to fish it out from Blood Red, who is waiting for our third game today. They'll face the Noise World Order, or New World Order, excuse me. Now Sharks in the corner playing it back to Mateo. Richard able to get it around him. No, no he's not. Mateo, a little bit of chaos here, but it gets cleared down to the Sharks' end. Only as far as Richard. Now Simon, no, Mateo's able to get around everybody. He's gonna take the pass. Oh, can't quite get the shot in. It's a beautiful pass, but nobody on the other end to convert it. Chaos in the corner now. Nearly another penalty for the Sharks. They learned quickly. Tail fell down, unable to control it. Now Renee has it. Renee, fighting for it with Sarah. Putting in front, and Roger will fall on this one. It will be Brendan and Joe taking the face off now. Score is 4-1 Sharks. One played up, can't get anywhere. Shots are 28, oh, that one gets through. So that is a shot, 29-11 now in the game. And Justin controls the face off. Joe with a shot, that one is wide. Knocked away. Around the corner, Joe looking for his man. Here comes a shot. That one is safe. Shots are now four apiece in this period. Now Brendan looking to get number five for the Ducks. Oh, he loses it thanks to the defensive valley and the other way. Renee is going to control this one easily. Brendan is way offside. It's going to stall on the effort by the Ducks. Six minutes and change left in the game. It is 4-1. Now Mike is able to find it first. He's gonna bring it up, there's the shot. That goes well wide. Tangled in the corner. It will belong to the Sharks. But nothing there, there's a shot saved by Trevor. Now 30 to 12 in shots. 5-4 Ducks lead in this period, which is kind of strange considering how the second period went. It was just a lopsided, and that's the reason for the lopsided shot tally. Up the other way we go. Sharks have it. Pass behind to nobody. Allie looking to control it in. Pass Renee, and that one looks like it was going to go wide. Tried to make it one. Our third game today will feature Blood Red and CNWO. I'm being joined by Honor Bond of Blood Red. Are you looking Hi, forward Andy. to the new season starting? Yeah, definitely. We're ready to go. 
All right, uh, you haven't haven't seen this team before. What do you think your strategy is going to be going forward? Well, we're going to play our game, and um, I think you know we're here to have fun, and hopefully they'll give us a good match, and uh, should be a good time. Last season you finished nine and one, unable to bring home the big cup. Do you feel that's your priority this year? Is not so much getting the high seed in the regular season, but uh, being able to turn it on another notch in the postseason, which has been sort of your downfall in the past few seasons. <laughs> no, I think uh, we're you know, every time we play, we play for fun. If we do well, that's great. Uh, the uh, idea, for, at least for me, is to come here and uh, enjoy it with, uh, with my friends, and that's, that's how I think most of our teammates play that way. All right, thank you very much. Sure. Yeah, I can't make That was Honor Bond of Blood Red getting ready for game three here. Mike with a shot that goes over everybody. No. We have five shots apiece in this period, 31 12 total now. And as you can see, four minutes to go, it is 4 1 in favor of the Sharks. It'll be Joe and Richard taking the face off. It is won by the Sharks, Drew playing it forward. Drew has to be considered for player of the game. Able to get it across. This one in the corner, controlled slowly. Joe has it up. Tracy tries to block, he can't do so. Joe into the middle, nobody there. Back the other way to go. Now we got a tripping call coming up. It's gonna be on Drew. Okay. For yeah. tripping Richard, everybody's okay, but penalty number five, power play number five, I mean, coming up for the Ducks. I need to make one of these count here in this game. Now playing it, it is won barely by the Sharks. Ducks unable to keep it in, and they reset. Now Sarah playing Tracy in there. Joe gets it around. Nobody there. Trying to play it around the back of the net to no one in particular. Ball coming around here again. Now back the other way. Sharks able to clear again. Now the Ducks have a couple of players offside. Doesn't matter. Uh, Sharks have one. You, you can see she was way offside on that play. Not even aware of it. Now we're going to have a penalty shot coming up. <laughs> that one was easy to call. And it's going to be Richard taking the penalty shot here after the boarding penalty. Here we go, Richard coming in on Trevor. He's going to get it in, shot save. Shots in the period so far. That, what you're hearing is the Sharks saluting their goalie for a big save on the penalty. On the penalty shot. She's the one with the And the exchange is made. Sarah has to spend time in the box before committing the penalty. And this one gets out of everybody. They're able to recover, and oh, we're gonna have another high stick. Finally called, we will be three on three. And the Ducks are now 0 for 5 on the power play. It's at 1326 power play, I'm 1326. Is this I think it's another 15 seconds of three on three here. Now. Play in the middle, can they get it off? No. Shots remain 6-5 ducks. Into the front, this one kicked away. And now it's power play for the Sharks. Can they convert? Their second power play. In front of Mateo, he shoots that save. Shots are now 6-6 six, six in the period. Sharks still on the power play here. Controlled, they're gonna take a quick shot. That one is blocked. And it's tipped away by Roderick. That one could have been going in, hard to tell. Back the other way, Tracy has it stopped. Allie can't quite get it up. Chaos in the middle. Mike's able to play it back in. Justin with a partial block. Sarah also blocked by Justin. Time is running out in the game. Now back the other way, here come the Sharks. It's gonna be a pass or a shot. It's gonna be a pass to Mateo. Uh, he can't control it. Right in front, and Mike tips away before what would have been a certain power play goal. They get back, Mike knocks it down. 
Sharks are set. That shot is blocked. Final shot tally is going to be for the game up 33 to 13, actually. Final. Sweet Sharks four, Ducks one.